Hey crafters, thank you for joining me today. I'm back with my final design team project for artattacksupplies.com but before I show you guys the two cards that I created for my final DT project I just wanted you guys to know that with this magic card I know you guys have been waiting for the tutorial for, for this and I have already filmed a tutorial and I will be posting that tomorrow on my channel here on YouTube. In the meantime, I just wanted to say thank you so much Tracy for letting me design for you from October to December. I had so much fun being part of your design team. I really appreciate all of the goodies that you sent me and I still have them and I'm still going to continue to use them and I would still continue to order from Art Attack because you have the best customer service. And of course, for you guys out there, Tracy still has special and sales for Magnolia. So you guys should check her out and she has some pre-order. If you're looking for Tilda and other goodies, Tracy has them at her store for pre-order and you guys should check it out. Also, she will be hosting a Valentine swap so if you guys would like to participate on that hop, please check out Tracy's YouTube channel and I'm sure she will be announcing it soon. Or if you, you guys are not a member of the Facebook page yet, like Art Attack and Tilda and Friends or something like that and Art Attack Anonymous, then you guys should join that Facebook because Tracy is always doing giveaways and announcements and things like that. So these are the two cards that I created for my final DT project and that is using the Greeting Farm stamp set and as you can see these two girl images are so incredibly cute and I colored both girls using my Copic markers the first one is meant for Valentine's Day or winter theme but it's not really for Christmas that's why I didn't put any Christmas tree or anything that has to do with Christmas because you know it's still winter and you can use this for a just because card or a Valentine's card what's nice about this image is that she has a little heart on her coat so you can use this. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. I use the Rolling Hills die that I have for my stash. And I use glimmer paper for the background. And this paper pad right here is from Lawn Fawn. And I made it really simple so that I can either use this for a Just Because card or a Valentine's card. And I love the simplicity of this card. I really like the glimmer paper that I use here and how simple it is. So that's the first one. And then the second one that I made is this really cute, simple card for my best friend. And I love the colors that I use for this card. The main card base is actually from Michaels. And this paper pad right here is actually a paper pad that I ordered from Tracy's store a long time ago. And of course, I colored the image using my Copic markers and I colored her using BV01 and 02 and then B15 just to make it look really nice and purple. I wanted this card to be pastel because this is going to go to my best friend and her favorite color is lilac. And I really love how this card turned out. And it says a true friend today, tomorrow, always. I just really love the sentiment on this card and I love the simplicity of this and I put two bows on the side and I think this is my favorite as well I actually popped it up using 
fun foam. So I love both cards that I made and I really love the images so I will continue to use this stamp set for other projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions please don't forget to leave me a comment down below and I will try to answer your questions right away. Don't forget to check out the tutorial for this magic card tomorrow. I've already filmed it and it will be posted on my YouTube channel tomorrow. So thank you again so much Tracy for letting me design for you from October to December. I really had so much fun and I'll see you guys on my next project. Bye for now and happy crafting! Mm -hmm.